Hello everyone, my name is Tara G. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Chicago Fire Season 11 ended on a handful of cliffhangers, including one character's fate, so there are plenty of Season 12 theories to conjure up. The premiere date of Chicago Fire Season 12 is still unknown as the writer's strike continues, but that won't stop the theories regarding upcoming episodes of the NBC series from flooding in. The Chicago Fire Season 11 finale left viewers hanging with a plethora of unknowns, including the outcome of a proposal, the potential breakup of two important firefighters, and a possible death in Firehouse 51. The following season will hopefully hastily take care of these cliffhangers, so that everyone knows if their theories and predictions are correct or way off base. One of the biggest debates regarding season 12 is who is returning from the main cast and who is leaving. Jess Spencer, who plays Matt Casey, departed in season 10 but returned at the end of season 11 in a guest role that could become permanent. Meanwhile, Taylor Kinney, who plays Kelly Sebride, took a leave of absence from the show in the middle of season 11 to deal with a personal matter. Plus, Another series regular's life hung in the balance following the final. So going into season 12, the Chicago Fire writers have a lot of matters to address, and we have plenty of theories to concoct. Severide comes back to Chicago and reconciles with Stella. The theory that Stella Kidd will be able to track down Severide and convince her husband to return home following the Chicago Fire season, 11 final might be wishful thinking but there is no evidence to dispute it either. As fans recall, Stella learned that Severide's OFI training camp had ended, and he joined an ATF investigation without informing her of his change in plans. It's unclear why he lied or omitted the truth, but Stella left Chicago on a mission, and she will get answers no matter what. Kenny hasn't announced whether he is making his leave of absence from Chicago Fire permanent or if he is planning on coming back for season 12. Since there hasn't been a formal announcement, there is no choice but to believe the actor will return to the series. Severide will do whatever he needs to apologize to his wife. And he, and Stella, will continue being a power couple in Chicago Fire season 12. They have been through too much to go back now. Related, Chicago Fire's new love rectangle, will only end in disaster. Brett turns down Casey's proposal in Chicago Fire Season 12. Casey proposed to Sylvie Brett out of the blue during the Chicago Fire Season 11 finale. Even though they haven't solved the problem that led to their breakup in the first place, Casey and Brett tried to maintain a long-distance relationship while he cared for Andy Darden's sons in Oregon, and she stayed in Chicago. However, being apart was too much for them, and they broke up. Casey returned toward the end of season 11 for work, but his brief appearance wasn't permanent. He would eventually have to return to Oregon, where he had one more year left before the last Darden boy went off to college. So it didn't make sense for Casey to propose to Brett when they never fixed their issues. A proposal wouldn't erase the distance between them, so when Chicago Fire season 12 premieres, the only sensible theory is Brett saying no to Casey. 6. Casey Returns to Oregon Since one of the Darden boys still has one year left in high school, Casey will undoubtedly have to return to Oregon in Chicago Fire Season 12. Unless the premiere features a time jump, there is no workaround for Casey's living status. Plus, Jess Spencer voluntarily left the NBC series, and no news suggests he wants to return permanently 5 Carver buries his feelings for Stella. Honestly, it would be better for every character involved if this theory turns out to be true in Chicago Fire Season 12. Yes, Sam Carver and Stella share a sprinkle of chemistry, but she is spoken for, and given all the work put into establishing and maintaining Stella and Severide's relationship, it wouldn't make much sense if Stella and Carver suddenly became a thing. The last time fans saw Stella, she was solely focused on getting her husband back to Chicago and repairing their marriage. Carver has never been a romantic option in Stella's eyes, and the sooner he accepts that, the better for Violet and Carver hook up in Chicago Fire Season 12. Meanwhile, 
Violet Mikami could be a fantastic love interest for Carver in Chicago Fire Season 12. And unlike Stella, she is single. There were a few moments in Season 11 where Violet's eyes lingered on Carver, for a little too long to be considered friendly. Brett even called her friend out on her crush, which Violet denied, but viewers and Brett could see right through her. Once Carver accepts that he and Stella aren't meant to be, perhaps he will begin to notice Violet more. Leading to another Firehouse 51 romance, 3 Kylie joins Firehouse 51. Firehouse 51 needs more women. And since Kelly Estevez passed the firefighters' exam in Chicago Fire Season 11, it would only make sense if she officially joined the squad in Season 12. While the writers and producers are at it, they can bump Kathleen Shinnett, who plays Kelly, up to series regular status. Chicago Fire might be down some cast members going into Season 12, after all. Mouch doesn't die in Chicago Fire Season 12. One of the biggest cliffhangers from the Chicago Fire Season 11 finale related to Mouch's fate he was struck by shrapnel from bullets while Firehouse 51 was on a call. And at first, Mouch seemed to be fine following surgery. However, when Herman visited him at the hospital, he realized that Mouch was excessively bleeding from his wound, and that's when he started coding. Chicago Fire loves killing off characters in premieres after putting their lives at risk in previous finals, A, Leslie Shea and Otis. But this time, it would make more sense if Mouch made it out alive. The show is better off with him in it. Five most heartbreaking Chicago Fire deaths low in Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, and Chicago Med will have a big crossover. The one Chicago shows, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, and Chicago Med haven't had a proper, game-changing crossover since 2019. The coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic, undoubtedly affected the ability to safely produce big television events. But that will, hopefully, all change during the One Chicago series upcoming seasons. The writers and producers of Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, and Chicago Med know how to put together a satisfying, intense, and entertaining crossover. And it's time for another one in 2024. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.